Hello and welcome to this demo video regarding setting up and managing network profiles in Windows 11 and in this video we will guide you through to how to configure network profile to use the networks and internet in your Windows 11 machine in an efficient manner. So let's switch to the Windows 11 machine and explore the topic that we have mentioned in this title screen. So here on the Windows 11 machine to begin Let's right click to the start and open the settings from the option and once you start seeing the settings on the screen then click on the left to the network and internet and here you need to find out that which one is your active connection so as you can see that this Ethernet 31 is seems to be the active connection and that is being used on this virtual machine and if you look down below, so you have further options like the Ethernet, the VPN, the proxy, dial-up, advanced network settings. But here, let's you can click to the data usage to your active connection, and you will start seeing that which specific app is currently util utilizing your data and the Internet service. Now, here you can see just against the Ethernet connection name, and the connected status you have the properties option and under the properties it is mentioned that the public networks been used on this active connection which means the profile that has been used over this Windows 11 VM is what the public network now to configure and customize this profile setting you need to click to the properties and once you click here you will start seeing some more details now here it shows what that the public network which is recommended at this moment has been selected and your device is not discoverable on the network used this in most cases when connected to a network at home or work in a place public place that means what that when you are going to connect your machine your laptop your VM to a public network where you don't want your machine to be discoverable over the LAN over the network so you should definitely use this public network which is recommended it is more restricted more secure and it's designed for open networks like those at cafes and airports but if you switch your network profile to the private network which is available here so your device is discoverable on the networks like this if you need file sharing use apps that communicates over this network so you should know and trust the people devices on the network so if you have some you know your personal environment where you can trust or you are in your corporate network in your office in your workplace so you should definitely go to the private network that adds more you know the trusted environment because you have to use your machine in a collaborative environment you need to use a file share if you wanted to use the apps that communicate over the network with the other applications and files so the private network is the best choice because it's not that much restricted as compared to the public network. So in short, I would say simply use the profile that suits more to your environment. And right from here, you can see that you have a message, you have a link of configure firewall and security settings. So if you wanted to proceed to these settings, so this setting will try to open the Windows security and it will directly get you on you know your firewall and network protection and here you can see we as we have selected the private network so it got enabled now this ethernet setting gives us what it gives us the dashboard where you can switch between the profiles but if you wanted to adjust if you wanted to customize these profiles that are created by default all you need to do is to click to the configure firewall and security settings and jump directly to its settings to customize the environment so let's say that we are on the private network and we want to customize something related to this profile so here we can see the active private network is there and help protect your device while in the private network you can switch off and you can switch on you can like toggle on and off this Microsoft Defender firewall in this specific profile and also you have the option Further, you can deal with the incoming connections and here it says what prevent incoming connection when on the private network 
So if you make the check here, if you enable it, so it will do what? It will block all incoming connection to this specific VM, including those in the list of allowed apps. So you can further maintain the list of your allowed apps here. Then you can change your privacy settings, privacy dashboard statement. But specifically, you have these two settings that you can customize and configure. So let's say we have or we, we switch back to the private public network and we wanted to adjust some settings on the public network so all will be the same. Now, so in a summary, what you can do and what is available here that you can switch between two profiles, one is the public and the private, and you can configure it by clicking here. Then you have some authentication settings that is related to your wireless LAN and your other stuff that we have pretty much discussed in the previous other Windows 11 videos. So that's all for this video.